Hey YouTube, uh, today I want to do a video and uh, show you guys how I made a mod um, called the Sub-Zero. Uh, what the Sub-Zero is, basically it is uh, very similar to a an AFS uh, without a control ring, but it's a do-it-yourself version. This AFS here uh, is uh, in the $90 range and the one that we're going to build today is uh, in about the six dollar range so first we'll go over the tools that you're gonna need and uh, the first thing you're gonna need is uh, a Dremel um, nothing fancy just a regular old Dremel next you're gonna need a soldering gun uh, this one's an old one it's a little bent but uh, still does the job uh, you're gonna need two different tips for the Dremel, you'll need a cutoff wheel, and you're gonna need one of these guys. Um, you'll see in a little while uh, why mine's all black. And the last thing you'll need is just a drill uh, with a small bit. That's a 1 16th inch bit, and I also have a 1 8th bit. All right, now for materials, um, you know, parts. You're gonna need a few things also. You're gonna need a 10 mil syringe I got this from mad vapes they sell them for 50 cents you need these uh, these washers and uh, they're available in Lowe's or Home Depot uh, they're 3 8 flat washers and they have a, uh, a 5 8 uh, OD outside diameter <coughs> uh, I, I don't think you can really see that I think it's coming up backwards on my cam for some weird reason but anyway you need a package of those uh, you're only going to use a couple of them and the other one you, you actually need another size of, of the same thing and uh, this one is uh, this one's half L um, I don't know if you can read that there no, that's backwards too so you need the 3 8 the regular 3 8 uh, with the 5 8 outside diameter and then you're going to need, uh, this one is a half L. Um, L is just a little bit bigger. It goes uh, like half inch and then half inch M and then half inch L. So, uh, so yeah, th that's what you're going to need. Uh, you can get those in Lowe's or Home Depot. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take uh, an 808 cardamizer because that's, that's what we're going to use. And uh, you want to pull... You want to pull the end of this out we're not going to be using that so to start building the tank you're going to want to take uh, an 808 cartomizer um, one of these guys and uh, what you want to do is you want to cut a piece of this the same size as an 808 carto so that's what I've done here and this one is uh, you know already has the hole in the side um, but you know you, you'll have to drill that hole uh, there's some tutorials online to show you how to uh, how to drill the hole in an 808 but you can also use a 901 um, but yeah for this tutorial I don't have any 901s laying around so we're just gonna use the 808 so anyway that that's the first part you, you do need uh, you know one piece the same size as the 808 okay now I want to just show you a little bit about these washers these washers they fit nice and snug um, inside this um, there's there's no real room uh, at all you know they're, they're very very snug and to get it out I'll actually have to cover that hole and blow to get it back out so um, when you are getting your washers uh, that that's something that you want to keep in mind that they do have to fit very snug okay now once you're sure that you have the right washers, uh, the next thing you need to do is these washers here actually have to be um, widened. Okay, so we have to actually fit uh, through this washer, uh, be able to fit that atomizer snugly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, you can hold this with a pair of pliers or or whatever. I usually just use my hands. Um, 
but uh, yeah, just hold it and then what I do is I have like a little cup of water next to me. You know, as I'm grinding the rubber away, um, you know, I'll dunk it if it gets a little hot and flip it around, you know, and do both sides. And you're actually going to keep going um, until you actually can fit this atomizer inside this hole nice and snug. Um, or carbonizer. So, um, yeah, it's going to fit in there just like that, nice and flush. Um, just like that. So, that's the bottom part. Okay, so once you have uh, your bottom washer um, nice and snug around the bottom of the 901, you want to slide the 901 inside the tube that you cut and it won't go right in. Um, you're going to have to kind of work it in there. So, let's see if I can do this. It's kind of hard to do it in this position. So, let me just uh, bring it over here and do it. Okay. So, once it's in, um, pretty much you want to take, um, you know, make sure the rubber is all the way up. Um, nice and flush with here and that should bring your your cartomizer or atomizer uh, pretty much right to the top so now we have to worry about the top right so for the top you have a smaller one and you have a bigger one what you're gonna do is you're gonna grind them out uh, just like you did with the bottom so uh, an atomizer um, can actually fit into it very tightly just like you did with the bottom and when you're done you're gonna actually glue um, or epoxy these two together um, now I used epoxy you could probably use crazy glue um, just anything that's um, gonna dry and be non-toxic when you're done um, so yes grind both of those out and then you're gonna um, use an epoxy um, you know an all-purpose epoxy that is non-toxic and you're gonna glue them together so when you're done you're actually gonna have one that looks like that now this piece fits right on the top of here and again they don't go in um, you know real easy it takes you know a little bit of time to get everything lined up and so it, you know it's nice and sealed all right so that is the tank now all you need to do is just pop a, a drip tip on the top and your tank is finished that is the completed tank now you need to worry about the collection cup Okay, now to make the collection cup, we'll put this to the side for now. Now for the collection cup, my original way that I did it was this. It's glued in. But in uh, my revision, I decided to also use the press fittings. You need an old 510 cartomizer. Okay, and uh, this is what it looks like. Um, you know it, it's kind of hard to solder and stuff so I'm just gonna really try to do the best I can to explain how to make this um, basically this here is a cartomizer an old 510 cartomizer and I cut it in half and uh, with the cutoff wheel on the Dremel and I take all the stuffing and wires and everything out so all I'm left with is um, just the bottom base and uh, just the hollow tube then I feed a wire, a small uh, wire, down to the center of this cartomizer. And when it comes out the center, I solder it. And I solder that bottom hole completely closed. On the other side, it's just a 901 battery connector. Now what you do is you, you have to solder. You have this middle post here. But you need that hole to be wide open. So you have to solder to the side of this terminal, this positive terminal. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to do, 
um, you know, it's going to take you some time to uh, get that wire soldered to the side so you can have a, a full hole here. Um, you know, and that's going to be for your excess juice to, that drips uh, from the atomizer. All right, so next you have to make some slices. Now, my first one I did only had one slice, but now I've increased it to two slices um, to increase airflow. So all you do is um, you're going to cut through with the Dremel and a cutoff wheel. You're going to just slice through, barely, barely slice through, and uh, you know you, you'll uh, you'll expose. You, you just have to be real careful not to cut the wire. The ground itself just happens when you hammer this in. You're just going to tap it in uh, nice and tight. It just gets press fitted. And uh, you know, once you once you get it in there, it's not gonna come out. But uh, you know, because it's all metal, um, it will be grounded. So you're good there. Basically, to make the cup, you're gonna screw this now that it's fully assembled um, into the bottom of your tank. Um, make it um, pretty tight, you know, like like it normally would. You know, seat it all the way. Next, you're going to take um, another half inch um, washer and you're going to grind it out where it, it fits um, loosely. It doesn't have to fit around here um, snug. This can be loose. Um, so don't worry about, um, you know, getting a, a tight fit around here. It's not necessary to have a tight fit around this, uh, you know, this tube here. So, um, so this one can fit um, very loose. Um, as you can see, mine, mine wobbles, whatever. Um, so you're going to put that on after you grind it out. Uh, you're just going to put that on. and it, You want it to be, um, you know, flush up against here. All right. So once you get to this point, um, you need to make your cup, your collector cup. And it needs to go from here um, to uh, right before it tapers to go down to the threads. So, uh, yeah, so measure that out and uh, cut that piece with the cutoff wheel. And when you come back, this is kind of what it's going to look like. It's going to be, uh, you know, right to the very end, but not going past. So this will go kind of just like that. So now you're missing just one piece, right? You're only missing the bottom washer. So you're going to, again, take one that uh, fits on the inside and uh, once you have you know then you're gonna dremel it out so it fits uh, you know nice and snug on, on here this one has to be snug you're gonna unscrew this um, this piece the last rubber washer will go on the bottom of the electrical connector so now to put it all together um, the tank is good the way it is. Um, so you have this piece, this piece, and this piece, right? And this. So this is going to go on the bottom here, just like this. So you're going to put that on, you know, just like that. Let's see if you can. There you go. Now this piece is going to slide into here, and you're going to push it flush. Once that's all flush, you you can uh, now that's your collector cup. Now the last thing that you want to do to this collector cup is to drill a couple of holes for your airflow. Um, pretty much, I, I just drill uh, two like one sixteenth inch holes right here, and uh, I'll go do that now. All right, so I got my uh, my two holes drilled here. And uh, now, you know, we'll put it together. Next, uh, you're going to put this washer here. Remember, this is loose fitting. Um, this is made where it doesn't seal around here, around the uh, connector, but it does seal the top to the bottom tank. So we screw this on here.